Hello everyone, this is Professor J. Kim. Today I'm going to show you how to create drop down menu using an auto animate option in Adobe XD. And so this is what we're going to make. Okay, so this is the home page on mobile, supercars, and then uh, there's a slogan or motto. And this is the, um, uh, the drop down button. Once you click on it, menu comes down. When you can close it, comes back. Okay, uh, please subscribe my channel, hit the like button, and set the alarm for my latest video. Then let's get started. Okay, so uh, first let's create a new uh, Adobe XD document, new file, and then um, please choose the, uh, your um, smartphone settings. Uh, since mine is the iPhone 13, so I'm going to use this iPhone 13. Okay. So we got a new artboard. So first, uh, let me draw uh, a box using my rectangle tool. I'm going to draw uh, one box and then no border. And then I'm going to have the, the big image. So uh, let me open my finder. I'm going to use this uh, image. So let me just drag and drop there. Okay. So, okay. Okay, then um, I'm going to rename this uh, image, this layer, as a BG layer. So I know what I have. And next I'm going to draw a navigation bar on top. That. Okay. And no border. And then a fill color. I'm going to have dark gray. Maybe like that. Okay, and also I want to have a drop shadow effect. Um, just a black. 100% uh, opacity value. And then a little bit further, like a 6 pixel. Okay, that looks good. And then also I want to have the, um, um, the menu bar, the hamburger button. So the hamburger button is... can go to um, this, the, the Google fonts, uh, icons, and then um, there are two, menu and the close. So I'm going to download these two, menu button and the close button as an SVG file. Please download the SVG so uh, you can uh, change the color as a vector graphics. So once you download it, it goes to your download folder in XD file. Let me import my menu which is in my download folder. Sorry, I need to do a housekeeping. My download folder. Okay, so I got this. And let me change the color uh, to white. I'm gonna make it smaller. Even smaller. Smaller. And let me place it on my nav bar. Let me open my... Um, um, Layout grid under view menu. So I want to make it fit in that grid structure. A little bit up. Okay. And also, let me type the text. Um, it's about the supercars. Uh, I have Vatica, uh, maybe a bold italic, and white. And the text size, I'm going to have, I don't know, 40, 40. There. Okay. And let me hide my layout grid. Okay, supercars. And then uh, select your supercar text and then a menu button and the background. These are three. Hold on. Yep. Supercars. And the background. I'm going to group them. Object, group them. And let me rename it as a nav. Sorry, nav. So they are grouped. And let me have a text. I want to say something. Um, impossible. Impossible. 
is for the unwilling. It's a kind of a slogan or motto. Impossible is for the unwilling. Let me double check. Okay. Okay. Then uh, let me choose a different typeface for that. Uh, since I have a sans serif, I'm going to try some serif. Bascoville. Not Bascoville. I'm going to try Bodoni. Bodoni, just a bold. Okay. So impossible uh, in black. And then on their promotion, I saw that I'm going to highlight, oops, just the possible. And let me have a different color. So impossible is for the unwilling. Okay. It's a good motto, good slogan. Okay. So next, I'm going to make the um, uh, the drop down menu. So first the thing is, let me draw one rectangle covering about this much okay and no border i'm gonna have a black fill and let me change the opacity value down to not too bright maybe just 80 percent but it is dark enough and also i need to have that uh the close button so let me go to um file import i'm gonna uh import that the yeah, the close button um i downloaded from google website so close maybe that yeah this x mark okay i'm gonna have it in white and uh, let me make it smaller let me locate it i uh, maybe there Somewhere there. Okay. And then let me type some menus. Uh, about. Let me have. Uh, I'm back to the Helvetica. Uh, bold italic. Helvetica. Bold italic. and in white it looks pretty big so let me make it a little bit smaller 30 point okay so about i'm gonna have about five buttons three four and five okay so um this one about Gallery events FAQs and contact. Oops, contact. Okay, that looks good. <clears throat> so now let me select my five buttons by holding down the shift key and my close button and my background and I'm going to group them and let me rename it as menu like this okay and then let me place it there right next to it and select everything and group them as a big group okay now let me zoom out i'm selecting my the entire artboard by clicking this iphone 13 for uh the 14 uh this thing let me hold down the option key keep pressing your mouse button and drag it so i can have a copy okay so from here in your layers panel you see that there's a group number one it has everything now let me choose my menu group which is this here i'm going to move it i'm going to move it to the top of my main page okay so we're almost there 
So now we just need to link it in prototype. Prototype. Okay, in prototype, open your group, open your nav, and then under nav, choose your menu button. See? And link to the next page, next artboard. And the trigger is a tab. Type, I'm going to use uh, auto animate. Okay. And then vice versa. On your second artboard, select it under menu button, close button, this one, and link to the first page. Not going to change anything. And let me select the first one. Let's preview it. So this is the first page on my iPhone. When I click on this drop down menu, sliding in. When I uh, click on this uh, close button, it's going back. Slide in, slide back. And if you want to make the, your sliding menus kind of uh, drop down from the top to the bottom, we can change it. Let me go back to design. And uh, in your layers, choose the menu group, this thing, and then move this to the top. But as you can see that this menu is supposed to be under my nav bar. So I'm going to do, so I'm selecting my nav bar. Let me move it to the top of my menu group. I'll do the same thing in here menu and the nav bar to the top okay and since we already made a link uh, we can just play it so preview click down and close it down and close if it is too fast you can do this in prototype just you have a link and change the duration maybe to well, one second and this duration to one second and let's play it preview drop down menu click on the menu bar uh, menu button it is smoother i like this one better okay so that's it so um, I hope that you enjoy this and that um, uh, is, this tutorial is helpful for your project. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Shoo, shoo, shoo.